today we're going to be showing how to make a yeast starter and in our case I took the, uh, the Epic Brewing beer and kept the yeast that was in the bottom of that and we're going to use that to create a clone. But first, for those of you who need to know how to make a yeast starter, keep watching. For those of you who know how to make a yeast starter, this is going to be old hat to you. First thing you need is for a five gallon batch I use 650 milliliters of water. So I just use this vessel because it's got milliliters on it to measure that out. So while we're waiting for that to boil, I'm going to take uh, this and the stopper and the magnetic stir bar. And I'm going to put all of that down into some star sand and get that all good and cleaned up. Alright, so once we've reached boil here, we are going to add a half a cup of light DME to it. You don't want to use dark because you want to have a very light wart. You don't want, you don't want to have a high gravity wart. And I remove it from the heat so just like when you're doing your beer, you don't want to have a boil over. Move it from the heat. Give it a good stir. It's all mixed in. And then right back over to the heat. Okay, so once we hit a hot break such as this, you really don't have to monitor it anymore. It'll just boil. And we're going to boil this for seven minutes. At least seven minutes, I should say. Seven to ten minutes. All right, well, you're coming up here in the end of the boil, so I'm going to get my Erlenmeyer flask out. Of the star sand out as I can, but and you don't want to forget your uh, stir bar. Put that in there. Get your sanitized. Funnel. I'm going to take our wart. Put it right on in. Stopper, which is also sanitized, and we will begin to chill. Four. And just generally uh, let this run in the sink around it. Give it a stir every once in a while. You want to get this down to uh, at least 85 degrees uh, as quickly as you can. Once you've hit 85 degrees or cooler, then you can add the yeast. All right, and then once it's cooled down, what I do is I, because I don't have any way of measuring the temperature, but I just hold the flask to my 
wrist. If it's cooler than I am, it's it's cool enough. We're going to stick it on the stir plate. I'm going to take my yeast. Normally, if you're doing a yeast pack, you would sanitize the yeast pack and your scissors and everything to keep everything sanitized. I've got a little bottle of star sand here. You can also use a flame. You know, use a flame around the outside of this. I'm just gonna spray a little bit of star sand in here. A uh, whole hell of a lot, but some. And then we're gonna add the little yeasties right in there. Now, whether or not this turns out, because I've never tried using yeast from a beer, so I'm actually adding beer to that. I don't know. But, I'll get the stir plate going. I do to black the light because you don't want the UV on there. A little bag. There you go. You're going to want to let that stir for 12 hours. Then I'll come back and check it and see if we've had any yeast growth. If we have, I'll probably do it again just to increase the amount of yeast I've got and then I can refrigerate it until I'm ready to make the beer. If you don't have a stir plate, just set it someplace that's at room temperature. You don't want it to get too cold. You don't want it to get too hot. Um, so the stove's not a good spot. But <laughs> set it someplace where you, you, it's got a good amount of temperature. And then uh, just every hour or so, just pick it up and just give it a swirl. You just want to make sure that the yeast is constantly getting oxygen. And uh, the stir plate just does that consistently. That's all. Well, after 12 hours... We have very little to no yeast production at all. A heck of a lot of foam. And it smells like beer instead of yeast. Well, I'll go another 12 hours and see if anything at all comes out of it. Otherwise, this may have been a failed experiment. All right, well, while the experiment uh, didn't really produce too much yeast, I'm sure if I kept at it, doing it, you know, three, four, five times, I could get enough, but it's not worth the effort. Um, I will do up a regular yeast starter for another beer I'm going to be doing and show you what that looks like so you can actually see something in the uh, container. Um, so that will be next. Over again. All right. Made up uh, a new yeast starter. This one's going to be from a brew tomorrow. Uh, and we're going to be adding uh, White Labs WLP 007. All right. Everything's been sanitized. Dump that right in there. All right. Let that spin up and uh, catch you in the morning when that's uh, all ready for our beer. And this is approximately 12 hours later. Get this thing spun down. You can see the carbon dioxide, the activity that the yeast has been feeding. I don't know if you can see the separation that's starting. 
you got the clear ish wart here and then right there you've got the settling yeast it'll all compact but unfortunately I don't have enough time I gotta get to uh, gotta get to brewing so that's all I can show you for now oh, I hope that helps well hey thanks for watching um, please remember to subscribe like share the video if you have any questions for me I'd be happy to answer those for you um, I hope you learned something if not watch another video till then keep brewing my friends